funny YouTuber chart, very small numbers, subscribe. In every Pikmin game so far, we start off collecting reds first, and from the way the Pikmin 4 trailer is looking, it seems like that'll be the case too. It seems like the series already established a basic formula for which Pikmin you get to access first. In the original game, you discover reds at the impact site, yellows in the forest of hope, and blues in the forest navel. After getting reds in the tutorial level, in Pikmin 2, you get purples in the emergence cave, whites in the white flower garden, yellows in the perplexing pool, then you gotta head back to the awakening woods and claim your blues. Pikmin 3 seemed like it was gonna shake things up a bit by starting off with yellows, but Charlie got caught lacking by the behemoth Fozbat. Like the two previous games, we get the reds in the tutorial level, rocks in the garden of hope, yellows in the distant tundra, wings in the twilight river, and after Louis goes full kamikaze mode, we finally get access to the blues in the tropical wilds. So, you can see a common trend here. Reds first, yellows somewhere in the middle, and blues dead last. Considering that blues are one of my favorite Pikmin types, I really don't like this formula. We get little to no time with the blues, especially in Pikmin 3. Now that we have Ochi, who can swim across water, and Ice Pikmin, who can freeze small bodies of water, blue Pikmin are as useless as ever. But, that's a topic for another video. If we're following Nintendo's past trends, I assume the order we unlock the different types in Pikmin 4 will look something like this. Warning, all the upcoming information is strictly theories. Nothing I say past this point is confirmed in any way. Even though he's not exactly a Pikmin, we're probably going to find Ochi first. Nintendo definitely wants to show off his new mechanics. Plus, in the trailer, the location we find Ochi looks pretty similar to where a captain lands. Then, as usual, Reds will serve their basic role as the tutorial Pikmin. After Reds, Ice will be the first kind of Pikmin we find, and I think that they'll be located in one of the first caves. Like Pikmin 2 and 3, Nintendo clearly likes to show off their new Pikmin types, and we've seen quite a bit of footage about Ices just in this one park area, which I'm gonna assume is the starting location. Before we unlock one of our main types, we'll probably get another cave Pikmin. In this case, I chose Whites. They'll use their poison immunity, to collect a certain treasure that unlocks another location on the map. At that new location, we'll find a Rock Pikmin Onion. We'll then have to head back to the first location to unlock yellows. If you look closely to one of the trailers, for a single frame you can see a yellow onion in the background, so they have to be unlocked to that first location. From here, things get a little blurry, but I think we'll get Purple Pikmin next. In a cave, obviously. And within that cave, we'll unlock another special treasure that opens up new locations on the map. At this location, we'll get Wing Pikmin, then Blue Pikmin, and finally, we have all of our Pikmin types. Reasons to believe that Nintendo would choose a similar order to this one is that they wouldn't want to introduce the super OP types like Wings and Purples too early on into the game. I like to believe Nintendo realized how unbalanced the past two games are, with Purples dominating the second and Wings dominating the thirds. I hope they change up how certain Pikmin types work without taking away what makes them special. So, this is how the Pikmin party progression will look like. But it's not what I hoped for. I would want something like this instead. If you've seen my first Pikmin video, you'll know that I want to be able to upgrade your Pikmin in Pikmin 4. And if that theory is true, we would have to get blues first. As the weakest type so far, I think it's only fair we get to spend the most time with them. This way, unlocking other types of Pikmin feels like a genuine upgrade to your party. Obviously, Ices follow the blues, then we get the classic reds. Another basic cave Pikmin, in this case whites once again, rocks and yellows from the respected onions, and the final two OP types will be saved for last. It's no different from when you play a Pokemon game. All the best Pokemon are found towards the end of the game to keep things balanced. But Raggins, what about Bulbman? As much as I love Bulbman, I wouldn't call them an official Pikmin type. In Pikmin 2, they were more so of a gimmick. They were seen inside of caves, but had to be left in there. If Bulbman are in Pikmin 4, I believe they'll be exclusive to Caves in Night Mode. As much as I'd love to see them in the overworld, we can all admit that they're way too overpowered. So which chart do you prefer? And if you don't like either of them, let me know what your preferred order is in the comment section below. From what I do know, Pikmin 4 is going to be a huge game. It's been in development for nearly 10 years now. We seemingly have all 8 types returning, and potentially a 9th one, new mechanics, and hopefully multiple game modes. This seems like the end-all be-all Pikmin game, and I can't wait. Pikmin 4 comes out in 34 days.